When it comes to setting up our systems for database use, we've basically got to make sure we have MySQL up and running. As you can see here in XAMPP, it's green. Um, and we need Apache running as well. To build the database, what we want to do is we want to go into a browser and then we want to go to a website address called localhost, which we saw in the last one. And we want to add phpMyAdmin to the end of it. So at the end, you go slash php my admin will load this this is the default look for php my admin this is a browser interface for controlling the mysql system down here we see all the databases and across here we see a selection of commands that we can implement when we're building stuff the first thing we want to do is we want to create a user account so we want to click on user accounts come down to where it says add user account click on that inside here we import mri we change the host to localhost we put in a password of password the only reason we're doing something as simple as password is because this is a local system and we just want to have access to it if we were doing this for a client the username and the password would be much more complex then we want to click on check all this allows the account the ability to do every uh, command that we need for this system and then we can click on go when we see that you have added a new user we now have an account that we can use next we want to create a new database so we can click on the word new here or click on the databases tab and inside here we're going to create one and we're going to call it x school and click on create now this leads us into the database as you can see it's highlighted on the left hand side and it says up in the top that we're inside the database now what we want to do is we want to create one table and we'll just put in um, basically some usernames so inside here we give the table a name so we'll call it users the number of columns try and match what you need so from here we click create now from here what we want to do is we want to fill out what each row is so each of these fields so the first one that we want to do is id the type so this is a data type there's lots of different types the id which we want to make a unique id is always going to be int and then what we do is we scroll across until we see auto increment here we tick that this then becomes the primary key and it's auto increment what this basically means is that we can use this as our searching point for unique information next uh, let's put in say username from here we want it as text so we could do it as a varchar 200 characters and we'll just put in the word password here as well we'll turn that into a varchar and 200 we don't have to worry about anything further down this column we have our id here now from here we want to click on save once that's finished saving you will see here is our table it will then go into the structure view here so we can check id with the primary key auto incrementing critical then our username and then our password once this is done we then move into using php to control information